Hey everyone, this is Technoli again, and we're going to take this $269 Walmart HP laptop and we're going to do a test to see how fast it boots with the stock hard drive in it, which is just a spinning SATA drive. And then we're going to test it with an SSD and see how much faster we can make this thing go. So let's open it up and let's see how long it takes to boot. And go. I don't think this is gonna be much of a contest, but you know, if we can take a $269 laptop and then stick a 30 or $40 SSD hard drive in it and make it super, super usable, much, much faster, then uh, you're going to be in this computer for around $300 and it'll be super fast. So we're going to wait till this comes all the way up to the desktop. All right. So there's a time on that one. What we'll do is we'll put the times down in the description. You'll notice that this is still spinning right here. So it's really not up all the way. And we'll watch that on the SSD hard drive. So, okay, okay, okay. Now, I feel good about that. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to install the SATA in this drive. And, uh, or the SSD. I'm going to show you how to do it, and then we'll do the test. Okay? Be right back. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is, is take out the battery. Just slide these over. There we go. So we got two screws right here. Let's go ahead and take those out. This doesn't look too difficult, really. Okay, these screws are kind of long. I'll put these over here. All right, we got a screw here. It looks like maybe all the same size. Got a screw here, kind of in the front area. Over here. Okay, we got one here. And this is probably just holding the DVD player in. Yeah, slide that out. Okay, now under these feet, there's going to be... I'm going to change over to a flathead tip. There's going to be some screws, I guarantee it. Just kind of pull it up a little bit. Yep. All right. It's just got some uh, two-faced tape on it. They'll stick back down. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull up the, the rubber feet, with all of the rubber feet, before I uh, put my change my screwdriver tips. Okay, there we go. I think there's just one screw under each one of these. I don't think there's multiple screws. Okay. Now we'll get the Phillips. In the old days, they used to have compartments where the hard drives would sit, but now you got to take everything apart. Now. To get to the hard drive. They just want you to buy a new one. Okay, now got all the screws out. Well, let's flip it over. Now what I'm gonna have to do is separate this base I'm going to try doing it with my fingernails. Nope, that's not going to work. Let me get a uh, pick or a little plastic tool I've got. Be right back. Okay, so I got this little plastic thing. You could probably find something in your house that you could use to 
stick in between here. So let's stick it in there. There we go. Just want to unsnap those. There's little clips. But don't stick it in too far because you might don't want to hurt any wiring that might be inside the computer. Okay. Just kind of go around slowly, taking your time. You don't want to snap any plastic. Okay, and we'll go this side. All right. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get a little finger in there. They're just little plastic snaps. There we go. Just kind of try to keep this down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to peek in there to make sure nothing is getting damaged. I'm just peek in there. Everything looks cool. So let's go ahead and flip it over. There we go. All right, so here's the hard drive. And here's RAM. If you wanted to upgrade this, you could. You just want to take this RAM out and look at the model on it. And you could order it on Amazon or wherever. This is just the 4 gig stick that came with it. It's uh, PC4-2666. So uh, we could upgrade that later, but I'm trying to keep this as cheap as possible. So now let's get this hard drive out of here. So we got, well, we got one screw here in the middle, and then we can lift it up. And don't pull up high on this because we just want to pull it up a little bit and slide it out. Okay. Now we'll take off this bracket so we can put it on the SATA. I keep saying SATA, SSD. Okay, on the new drive. Okay, I'll set that aside. And here's my. This is a Kingston, 480 gigs. I forget the price. I'll put it in the description. It was cheap. Really inexpensive. If you're on a super budget, you could go with a smaller drive, you know, like a, just a 256. And then if you actually go over that much space, you could always you know, use an external hard drive to back up your stuff. If you really want to stay on a budget. All right, so I got that clip back on. All we do is slide it back in at an angle, like that, and down, like that. And that's it, folks. It's in. Put the screw back in it. Okay, this little speaker put back on there. All right, to put the cover back on, it's really simple. Just line it up. I always like to put the, the back on first, right there, and just snap it into place. It's easy. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 on this fresh. And then I'll be back and we'll look at the speed difference. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're back. We got the SSD in there. And so we're gonna do the test, here we go. Not bad. Wow. Okay. We're in, and notice 
This is not spinning. It's ready to go. Unbelievable. Well, let me know what you guys think. It's definitely worth the money. And now this computer is really usable. All right. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate it. We're just getting started. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.